This is ABTV, Animal Bites Television. For animal lovers, by animal lovers. We humans like to think that we own the Earth. It's true that we're the most intelligent animals, but we've only been around for like 200,000 years. Compared to other species, that's not that long. We're newcomers whose biology is still rapidly evolving. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to five animals that reached evolutionary perfection long before humans were around and look exactly the same as they did thousands or even millions of years ago. I found five phylogenically fabulous freaks whose fully formed physiology has forced me to file them in the form of five weird animal living fossils. Let's start this off with one of my all-time favorite animals, the tuatara. Just looks like a boring old lizard, right? Nope. Snakes and lizards are of the order Squamata, while Tuataras are the only remaining members of an ancient order of reptiles called Sphenodontia. Tuataras have remained unchanged for the past 200 million years. To put this in perspective, they were around before flowering plants existed. If you're surprised you've never heard of these animals, it's probably because of how rare they are. They were once found abundantly throughout the country of New Zealand. But due to dumb humans doing dumb human stuff like introducing rats as an invasive species, Tuataras can now only be found on 32 offshore islands. Dumb humans. Number two is a fish that was long thought to be extinct with the dinosaurs until a living specimen was discovered in 1938 by a group of scientists. This googly-eyed beauty is the coelacanth. Weighing in at 200 pounds and averaging around 6.5 feet long, the most striking feature of this animal is its paired lobe fins that extend away from its body like legs and move in an alternating pattern almost like it's walking underwater. This is why the coelacanth is thought to be an early step in evolution between fish and four-legged terrestrial amphibians. And you can't argue that the thing looks like it belongs in the new Jurassic Park movie. Listen, I love all animals, and I'm not afraid of any of them, except this one. Number three is the chambered nautilus. This underwater freak show is the only living cephalopod with an outer shell. They first appeared about 500 million years ago during the Cambrian explosion. That means they were bobbing around sucking the soul out of my early ancestors 265 million years before the dinosaurs inhabited the earth. Today they lurk in tropical waters extending from the Ottoman Sea east to Fiji and from southern Japan to the Great Barrier Reef. The chambered nautilus gets its name from the internal chambers of its spiral shell that that are periodically being added to as it grows. Its body is situated in the outermost chamber, where 90 tentacles and two giant eyes peer out into the depths in search of food. And me, when I'm swimming, I feel like. Now even though I am absolutely terrified of these things, I really have no reason to be. Because their prey consists of hermit crabs, small fish, and the exoskeletons of molten crustaceans. And I am not any of those things. But they still look shifty as hell. Animal number four is one that I am much more comfortable with. I've worked with them in the past, and I truly believe that they are one of the most underappreciated creatures in the animal kingdom. Crocodiles. Remaining unchanged since the Cretaceous period 65 million years ago, these guys truly are living dinosaurs. Today, there are 23 species of crocodilians ranging in size from the 5-foot Cuvier's dwarf caiman to the mighty saltwater crocodile, which averages around 17 feet, but has been well documented exceeding 23 feet long and weighing over 2,200 pounds. Combine that with a jaw pressure of around 2,000 pounds per square inch and you have an animal that definitely commands respect. Not just because of their size, but because of their intelligence. People see an alligator or crocodile and just assume that it's a mindless killer. But recently there has been documentation of American alligators placing twigs and branches on their snouts in order to lure in birds looking for nesting material, making them the only reptile known to use a tool. No jokes for this one, I just really love crocodiles. Let's finish this list off with an extra dose of weird. Meet the elephant shark, also known as the least intimidating fish ever. Looks like what would happen if Gonzo made a baby with a dogfish. Despite its goofy appearance, this animal is actually incredibly important to biology. A group of scientists mapped out the fish's genome and have found that it is the most primitive jawed vertebrate to have its DNA analyzed. The fact that its genome has changed so little means that it gives us an extraordinary look into the evolutionary past of Earth's vertebrates, including humans because the elephant shark really isn't a shark at all. It actually belongs to a group of fish called ratfish, which diverged from sharks around 400 million years ago. They are possibly the oldest species of fish still alive today. Because really, why mess with perfection? Thanks for watching. Have you ever seen an animal that looked like it was trapped in the wrong time period? Tell me your stories in the comments down below. While you're down there, let me know what animals and topics you'd like to see in future episodes. And subscribe to ABTV for more awesome animal things and stuff. You can also follow me on Instagram or Twitter at Miller's Wildlife and like 5 Weird Animal Facts on Facebook. Thanks again and I'll see you next time on 5 Weird Animal Facts. I'm a wildlife rescuer, field expert, and conservationist. Welcome to Corey's Wild World. This is ABTV.